This is going to be just a short tutorial on how to do tint shaders and tint palettes in Blender for Solemns. Basically how it works is obviously you're going to need a tint shader. Any of them work that have TNT in the name or at the end usually. And so you're going to need to put the tint shader or the tint palette, the image, uh, the one all the way that's going to be over here to the right. It'll look something like this. I'll open it in Photoshop. It'll be like a long strip of colors. Each, uh, each um, what's it called, pixel is its own color usually. So you have 255 different options or available options. Uh, with that being said, what, what we're going to do to make it work is go to the color attributes or vertex colors, add a new one, name it color zero, and then don't change the color, just have it all black, and make sure it's face color and bite color, and add it. Then we're going to use Vertex Color Master. This is free on GitHub, I'm pretty sure. We're going to go to Vertex Paint Mode. Uh, we're going to select the blue channel, which is the tint, uh, one that tint uses, and then isolate it, and then select it. Change the brush setting value to, so how it works is the first pixel is zero, and then one, two, three, and so on. So what we're going to do is try, we're going to paint this to yellow. So it was zero, one, two, three, four. So we're going to go here and do four slash 255 or however big your tint palette image is. So this is something by 255 pixels. Then we're going to fill it and then apply and make sure it applies it to the color zero. And then to do the normal vertex coloring so it's not glowing at night, we're going to go to the green channel. We're going to isolate it and then change this to 0 0.5 something like that. You can mess around with this. Make sure you're changing it on the vertex color that's isolated. And then set this to 0 0.5, then fill, and apply. And then hopefully if we've done this all right, it should export and be, I believe I set it to yellow. Export this. I'm gonna drag it into Code Walker. As you can see, the object is yellow. So uh, let me know in the comments if you need any help or join the Solemns Discord for help as well. Uh, I hope you I hope this helps.